Alright guys, how's it going? It is time for my 750 Q&A special. I um, just want to thank everybody for subscribing, watching my videos, enjoying my videos. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who stuck with me and all my new subscribers. So let's get this started. I really haven't looked at a whole lot of these questions yet, so let's just start. Uh, the first one's from Nintendo Beast. Best Xbox 360 game you own. Uh, it's got to be between. I do have some games out though. Uh, Halo 3 for, or Burn Sorry, Burnout Paradise. And uh, you know, Halo 3 is really my first online game ever, so that's why I picked that one. And uh, Burnout Paradise because you know I I I love the Burnout series and this one. You know, it's great. I just love it so much. I put in so many hours just driving around, you know, not even doing the objectives. And even that was just fun. It was a blast. Next question is from Psychotic Vader. How many games do I own? Um, I'll have to say about, I counted a while ago. I'd say like about 550. Uh, next question he has is, who, what is your favorite band slash artist? Um, despite having the ACDC shirt on, I'm going to have to say, uh, probably Iron Maiden right now. Probably have to go with him. Uh, next question is from Link of Courage. What is your favorite game of all time? Not going to answer that. I'll answer that in a future video. Next question is from Dr. Gory. Which is your favorite Mad Max film? I actually haven't seen any of them. I'm not really sure if I have or not, but um, I don't think I have. Sorry. Uh, next question from Clue Clue Land One Two Three Four. What's your favorite TV show? And uh, let's see. Uh, favorite TV show is definitely, definitely got to be that '70s show. Uh, if you see all these volumes that I have, yeah, I'm only missing two volumes, so that is definitely my favorite TV show. Uh, next question is from X11 Rage X. What's the most hours you put into a game? How many? Which game and why? Um, <coughs> let's say Final Fantasy IX. Jeez, I probably put in a couple hundred hours in this game because I maxed out like 99, 99 hours, 99.99.99, um, several times. I've beaten this game several, several times. And uh, why? It's just because this game is so awesome. Next question is from AMZS2121. Sorry if I butcher the names. Uh, what's your least favorite? genre of games and nice Alice in Chains shirt. Uh, thanks. Least favorite genre is probably strategy, real time strategy. I just can't get into them. I just kind of think they're boring. I don't know why. This is from Danny Evil 2. What is your favorite game console? Probably going to have to go with the Super Nintendo because, you know, the 8 bit games were great, but like the 16 bit era. It just made everything about 8-bit greater. It made the music better, the graphics better, and plus all the great 16-bit RPGs out there. There's just so many of them. Probably the best era in gaming, in my opinion. Next question is from Resident SP Fantasy. What is the worst thing you have done after being pissed off at a video game? Um probably broken my Xbox 360 wired microphone. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I think those things are really cheaply made because I just toss them sometimes and they break. And uh, sometimes I have thrown them and they broke also, but yeah, that's probably the worst thing I've done. Got pissed off. Especially when the game lags. Um, next question is from JTech1000. Have you ever played an MMORPG like WoW or Age of Conan? If so, did you like them? No, I haven't. I don't ever want to fall in that trap. 
because I don't want to lose my life to it. Um, I refuse to put that much time into one single game for like years at a time. Um, I know, I know I said that I put so much time into Final Fantasy IX, but I just can't see it with the MMORPG, especially when you have to pay a fee every month. That's just ridiculous in my mind. Next question is from Jaya No5252, and he asks, What do you think the best shooter of this generation? Now, I'm going to have to go with Halo 3, I guess. Um, it's because I play Call of Duty 4, and it's good, but it's either you're a Halo person or a Call of Duty person. And I'm a Halo person because it's not as realistic. Because I like to be able to run and gun. You know, I like to have fun. You know, take risks. Something you can't do in real life. Call of Duty is just too realistic for me. I don't like having to, you know, get shot once or twice and you're dead. You know, I, I like the more unrealistic side of shooters. Um, you know, if I wanted real realistic shooting, I'd enlist in the army and go to Iraq. Uh, next question is from Rajjohn92. If you could have any game or piece of gaming memorabilia, no matter the price, what would you have? Um, I'd love to have the 1990 World Championship Nintendo cartridge, but a little bit more realist realistically, I'd probably pick the uh, Spider-Man Web of Fire game for the Sega 32X, because that's probably the hardest game that you could find on the 32X. And, uh, it's probably going to be my last game that I find for the my complete 32X collection. Next question is from Mr. Trego Maego. What is the hardest game you've ever played? <clears throat> I really can't think of anything right now that's super hard. Um, except for, you know, some original Nintendo games that are like balls hard, you know. But recently... I would say a Mega Man 9, that's really, really, really tough. They made it for the hardcore gamer. Uh, next one's from Shintai123. What has been your most proudest moment as a gamer? Uh, well, I did beat Mega Man 9, so that's probably up there. Um, proud moment is just starting my YouTube channel probably and getting all the you know success I've had on here and building my collection up to where I have it now, you know, basically on my own. It's probably a good moment for me.